All right, I'm going to show you something absolutely amazing right now. I'm going to create a custom vocal sample library that I can use absolutely anytime I want for my own original music projects or for anybody else who I'd like to send vocal samples to. And I'll be using Vocaloid 5 to do this. If you're not familiar with Vocaloid 5, this is a music software that allows you to create your own vocals from scratch using your computer. You can use preset phrases, draw on your own melodies, and even write in your own lyrics. It's the most amazing thing available right now on this planet. Definitely check it out. For everybody who already has it, you'll be able to do this. Create your own vocal phrases in the Vocaloid 5 editor. Export the audio to your own folder, and then use the audio files any way you'd like for your own music production projects. And I'll show you right now exactly how to do this. Right now I have the Vocaloid 5 editor open. And down here, I have all these media files. These are essentially preset vocal phrases. So for example, I'll set the tag to soulful phrase and work with some of these. Although you can use whichever ones you'd like. And you can see this is in the key of E flat minor. And the original phrase is at the tempo of 128. Although I want to create my own custom vocal sample library in the tempo of 125. So I'll change the tempo here to 125. And when I play this back, it'll be a bit slower. And I want to create a new vocal one shot from this phrase, meaning a really quick vocal sample that I can use for any type of music, really. And I'll use the beginning of this phrase to do this. So I'll simply drag the end over. And if I do this while holding the command key on a Mac keyboard, the end won't snap to the grid line. So it'll give me a bit more freedom to edit this. All right. And I'll do this a few more times using some other vocal phrases from the media library. All right, so I have this one also, although the volume is a bit lower with this one. So there's two things that I want to do. I want to lower the volume of the first phrase and boost the volume of the second phrase that I chose. So I'll bring them both to about zero on the volume meter. The reason I want to do this is later on when I export them, I want all the vocal samples to be around the same volume. So it's more consistent for any situation that I like to use them for. So I'll lower the volume of the first track here. And the second track needs a volume boost. So I'll add the audio effect gain to boost the volume up to zero. And I can add a compressor on here to keep the volume at a consistent level as well. And I'll add some reverb as well to add some space to this vocal one shot. All right, so we got two vocal one shot samples. They're about the same volume level, not exact, but pretty close. And they're very different from each other, which is very interesting, not only because they're created within the same software, but because they can be used for completely different music projects as well. Very nice. I'll create two more one shots using these two different phrases. And I'll speed this part up a bit because you've already seen how this is done. All right. All right. I'll stop it here because this is a very interesting tip. Even if you delete a note, you can extend a single note and it'll keep all the same pitch movements. 
Really cool trick. So I can adjust the volume and add some audio effects. And once again, here goes what we have. So I created these four completely different one shots and I'll simply set these up to export the audio into a folder on my computer. And before exporting the audio, I'll simply rename each track to a title that simply sounds like the sound it's making. You can write whatever you want, of course, although this is what I'll do for now. And then I'll drag each of these parts all the way to the left of the editor. And I can simply solo each track. When I listen from the beginning, I'll be able to hear each one of these vocal shots individually. You can hear those are the four vocal samples we'll be exporting and I'll simply jump over to my computer desktop and create a folder titled One Shot Vocal Samples. You can title this folder whatever you like, although this is what I'll title it for now. And I'll head over to File and click Audio Mixdown. And I can now export all of this audio now, although I want to export each track individually, and I could do this by clicking on multi-channel. From here, I can choose any one of these tracks that I want to export, and right now I'll choose all of them. And for anybody wondering why I'm choosing all of these in multi-channel instead of master track, is because master track will export the audio for all of these tracks into one single audio file. By choosing multi-channel, the audio from each track will automatically be exported into its own individual audio file. So there will be four separate audio files with a single one-shot vocal sample for each file. I can also bypass the audio effects if I want to export a dry version, although for now I'll keep the audio effects on there. And I'll click OK. And I'll choose the folder I want to save these audio files to. Right now I have this folder I created on my desktop, so I'll choose this. And within this folder contains all my custom one-shot vocal samples. As for the title of the files, the project file is saved as v5 sample packs. So whatever your Vocal Aid 5 editor's project title is will appear here. The track number is also shown, and the track title is also shown as well. And of course, you can rename this to anything you'd like. And now I can use this folder of audio for anything else. I can import the audio samples into my own music projects. I can edit the audio further anywhere I'd like. I can convert these to vocal chops. I can throw them into a sampler, repitch them any way I'd like. I can send these vocal samples to other people very easily. There's an endless possibility of things that I can use this for. And once again, these were all created with a digital software, created with my computer. And that's insane that we're capable of doing something like this today. Nuts. I hope this helped you out and inspired you to create some vocal samples of your own. Once again, the software I'm using to do this is Vocaloid 5. To learn more about Vocaloid 5, head over to the official Vocaloid website and you can learn everything you need over there along with picking up the software for yourself to use.